Stampers, Deb Valder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I'm excited to bring you this adorable little card. It is a box and a card, and um, it literally has a little tiny box, and on top of the box, or um, on top of the card, sets the box. It just kind of slides in this little piece right here, and you are good to go. Now, I have a couple of them here. This is actually going to be part one of a two-part series, and the reason I want to do that is because this one right here is absolutely loaded with some great little tips and cute little things I want to show you. And I just want to keep the two of them separate so that you can see how simple this box is, but how elaborate you can make this one. So when I take this box out of here and I open it up, this can be a gift card holder. Um, it can be just about anything, but um, I'm going to show you this as part two. Um, you definitely want to watch it though, because I have some of the cutest little things that you um, could ever do. Um, you can um, take and put little Hershey Kisses in it, and with one of our stamp sets, you can um, kind of embellish them. It does not have to be for New Year's. Um, it can be for any any occasion, and I'm going to show you that in a bit. So for right now, let's take, and I'm going to focus on this little card right here because I want to show you how stinking easy this card is. All right? So the first thing that we're going to do, that I'm going to do, is I'm going to show you the um, papers that I've used um, that are kind of going away pretty soon, so I wanted to make sure that you had them if you still wanted them. This is called Through the Year Prints. It's in our Journey Holiday Catalog, and it's only good until um, the end of December 2017, so make sure you get it. I've used this paper in a lot of my videos, um, including this one right here, when I used it for these little boxes um, right here. So make sure you get that paper if you want it, because it is going away. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to show you how to make the actual um, uh, card itself with the hole in it, okay? And we're going to do that with um, our um, with our pool play paper right here, with our card stack that's called pool play. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. Normally I cut my cards at four and a quarter the long way, but for this one right here, I need it to be cut at five and a half by eight and a half. So I'm just going to cut that and then fold it. So, we're just going to fold it right in half. Now what I need to do is to bring back in my trimmer, and I need to cut a two inch hole, which is this part right here. You're going to just take and cut your hole right in here. And there's a very, very easy way to do this. All right, I have the measurements on my blog, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the two and three quarter inch mark right here. All right, and it's very important that you have these little guys right here, these little um, pointers right here. I'm just going to go down to the two inch mark, okay? And then I'm going to lift this up and bring this over to the um, four and three quarter inch mark. So it's two and three quarters and four and three quarters. And I'm going to start at the two and go back up to um, nothing, all right? Now turn this and you're going to go over to the two inch mark because remember we're making a two inch hole here. And I'm going to start it at the um, the mark right here. All right, I'm just connecting these two lines and just go down to the next line right there. All right, and then your little guy should just pop right out. All right, that's all there is to making the base card. So again, the measurements will be on my blog. Um, it's so easy to do. I, I'm, I'm just telling you, this is such, it looks like it's a hard card, but it's not. So for right now, I'm gonna take and put my words on here. And for this one, I'm actually gonna put in um, this is an, an adorable little set. It's called um, Must Have Sentiments, and I use this all the time. And I'm just going to say um, sending big hugs because I'm going to put kisses and hugs inside my little box. All right, so that's just going to go right down here. This is going to be the front of Mark. You can decorate this any way you want, and you'll see that in part two. All right, so I used some beach ball on top of my pool play um, along with my must-have sentiments, and that was good to go. All right, so now my base card is completely done except for my layers, and again, I'm using that through the years um, paper, so I'm just going to grab my uh, layers here, and I just happen to use this one uh, for this card. So I'm going to grab my Easy Glide and just um, layer my layers. Okay, so this would be really cute for Easter. Um, um, we had a couple of them because I did this card in my club. That's how easy this is. Um, my club members did this card and they just fell in love with it. But some of them used this side and it looks so cute as a birthday, a birthday box. 
absolutely adorable. But today I'm going to use the Easter one. And like I said, you will have, if you if you grab yourself a package or two or three or five of those um, through the year paper packs, um, you will have paper for every occasion because every single one of them is meant to be for each month throughout the year. All right. And my last layer right here, I'm just going to center that right there. Okay, and I just picked up the colors that are in the um, in the in the card itself. All right, so now my base card is all done. Now what I need to do is to work on my um, my actual box. So this is so stinking easy. All right, you're going to start with your um, base box, square, whatever, um, and that's just a six by six paper. So you can actually get four of these out of one, on one sheet of cardstock. So if you want to do them as placeholders for your, your table, you can do them for whatever you need. All right. Um, and then what I did was I just scored it all the way around at two inches. Now remember with this, um, with this uh, trimmer, we have that extra large bed on this side. So I have the two inch mark right here. So basically what I did was I just scored it all the way around. I turned it um, each side and scored it and then turned it and scored it and then turned it and scored it. So I have on this piece of cardstock right here, um, my scores are at two inches all the way around and the um, the, car, the actual cardstock is cut at, at six by six. All right, I'm going to get out my um, crease tool, and this is just box making 101. If you know how to make this box, you can adjust the size to any any size that you want as far as your box goes. But this literally is just box making 101. If you can get this down, you can get anything down. I'm going to take my Grand Pro shears. Remember, they're non-stick. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut from this little line up to my first crease. All right, so there's my crease right there. I'm just cutting up to that line. And that's why it's a good idea to, um, to do all of your uh, creases before you cut because then you know exactly where to, to stop. All right, so I cut the two on this side. Now I'm going to cut the two going up um, towards the ones that I just cut. You don't want to cut these out because um, you wouldn't have the right kind of box. All right. So here we go, and here we go. I'm going to show you a couple of cute little tricks here too. All right, so now we have our box that has all of the, um, the cut marks on it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make your box so it's really very, very striking on the inside as well as the outside. Because remember, we have um, patterned paper. It's double-sided paper, so your inside is as decorative as the outside. And if you've got kind of a sloppy-looking um, square on the inside, it's not going to do your box any justice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the crease to the cut part. And when I'm done, I'm going to have an octagon all the way around. So I'm going to go from the crease to the cut, and this one is going to be the cut to the crease. All right. These don't have to be perfectly straight, but by using the Grand Pro shears, it gives you an extra edge on getting it all the way around. And that one, and here's this one. All right, so now what I have is an octagon. All right, and we're ready to put our adhesive on. All right, this is literally box making 101. So now what I'm going to use is my white tear tape, and I'm going to take and I'm going to put it on each one of these four corners. Do not put any adhesive on the squares, all right, just the triangles. And what I'm going to do on each one of these triangles is to put the adhesive close to the edge, okay, and that's very important, on the crease and close to the edge on the, um, on the cut side. All right, so watch what I'm doing. So now we have, all my sides have the um, tear tape on it. So now I need to grab my bloom tool with the dental tool, all right, and just kind of burnish these on so that they are not going to slip off. And so that they are, oops, I did forget one. Hang on, got one more. Okay, now... Let's just grab the tear tape off. All 
Okay, now we're ready to put it together. If you've got any little tear tape um, hanging over when you go to, to put it on, just, just flop it back onto your, your triangle. And what you want to do is when you're putting this together is to just make sure that your sides line up nicely um, so that it looks, like I said, I just love to have everything look so um, uh, square. All right, and there we go. Those two sides are lined up nicely. All right, see how the box comes together so easy? Again, this is Box Making 101. Okay, there is our box. Now what I want you to do is to take your box, and on the inside, I want you to just take your, you can either do this with your crease tool or your bloom tool, and you're just going to take and um, make sure that these sides are down nicely. All right, so there's our box so far. Now we have to make the lid, and the lid is made identical to the box, except the measurement for this has to be 1 16th of an inch bigger, and that's because if it was the exact same size, it wouldn't go on because the two of them would meet. So by having it just 1 16th of an inch bigger, it slides on nicely. All right, so let me just grab the one I've already started, and you do this exactly the same way. It, it is done exactly the same way. So you're going to take and you're going to cut your top at 3 and 1 16th by 3 and 1 16th, and then I just scored it at a half an inch all the way around. All right, just like we did the box bottom, we're going to do the cutting and the um, taping exactly like we did the original one too. So start with your um, crease tool and creasing all of your pieces. Then you're going to cut down, down, up, up, and then slice, okay? And then you're going to make your octagon all the way around, and now we're ready to put our tape on and put it together. All right, here it is. Okay, so for the tear tape on this one, it is so tiny that you only need one piece. You don't need to go along the other side. So you're just going to take and put one piece on it. Just like that. Okay. Some hangs off, don't worry, we're going to take them, we'll throw it on. I want it to be closer to the creased part than I do the um, cut part. Let me just show, what I, show you what I mean by that. I want this creased part right there to have the um, adhesive more so than the cut part, okay? Now you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take and you're going to burnish these sides just like that. And then take off your tear tape. And then we're going to put it together. Now see how that hangs off? All you have to do is just kind of slide it right back on there. And then just <clears throat> have your sides meet. And okay, so far so good. All right, and then what I do is I just take either my um, crease tool or my bloom tool and just solidify these little corners. All right, just rub them down on the inside, and then that makes your perfect box top. And it fits perfectly because, remember, it's 1 16th of an inch um, higher. Literally, people, this is done. Now, I, I am going to put this little guy on the top like this. All right, uh... This is, whoops, this is just the top to, decorating the top to my box, and I'm going to show you what I did with this one, but like I said, you want to see part two. If you want to go over the top crazy with this and give something somebody that is absolutely exquisite, you are definitely going to want to see um, my next video, part two of the box on a card. Okay, so there's my box, and then that... Here's my, my card, and then that. Now, um, one thing I do want to point out when you do this, okay? Keep your card closed. Stick it in there like this. You want to make sure that the top is caught because that's what actually holds your top on. And then you want to open it to the whatever size you want, all right? But it's just easier to have your card closed and then open it as you do it. And look at how adorable that is. It's so cute and it's so easy. Now for this one, what I did was I took one of our little cloth flowers. It's in the accessory section in the back of the catalog. And I um, spritzed it with our splash. This is the pineapple smoothie splash. So I colored it. It was white. I colored it and made it um, the blue. So on this box right here, everything matched. This one I happened to fill with um, some Hershey Kisses and Hugs and then um, 
it fits a nice little Ferrero Rocher. Um, it's all about the candy. But that is our card. Now remember to watch part two so that you can see how to do this amazing little, um, this little amazing, all the stuff that's, that's on this one is so fun. All right. So I'm just, I'm not going to show you how to do the box. I'll switch it back to this one, but I will show you how to do all of these little fun things. Um, some really great tips. So I hope you liked my, my um, video for today. It is just the cutest little box ever. Um, if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. You take care, have a great day, and thank you for stopping by. <laughs>